The banana industry is an important part of the global industrial agribusiness. About 15% of the global banana production goes to export and international trade for consumption in Western countries. It is one of the most popular fruit in the world. Thanks to increasing demand and enticing market costs, banana farming is gaining momentum. Till recently, use of tissue culture technique has been the sole choice in banana farming. This method permits multiplication of uniform and top quality plant clones since they inherit the properties of the parent plant physically and genetically. Welcome to today's episode of Kilimo na Biashara. We are in Kirinyaga County and our main focus is banana farming. So join me in the farm. Let's go. Mr. David. Yes, <laughs> Karibu. Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to your farm. Karibu tena. I heard you are one of the best banana farmers here. That's what they say. I believe so. I want to see the farm. I should think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the farm. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yes. How is it around here? The temperatures are so good. Temperatures are very fair. Mm -hmm. uh, we have enough rains. Uh -huh. We have fair sunshine. Enough rains for your bananas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so many and your farm is so clean. Thank you. <laughs> it's so clean and it has, all of them has fruits. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, everyone has a fruit. And some have even more than one. Dambiri, I didn't know bananas could be grown in such a large scale. It is possible. Mm -hmm. It is possible. And how if, is it? Mm -hmm. If you have the required facility, mm -hmm. one of well, uh, foremost, mm -hmm. you have to have a land mm -hmm. to plant. Mm -hmm. The climate must be suitable for that kind of a crop that you want to, to grow. Mm -hmm. So which type of soil is really favorable for banana farming? Loam soil is the best for banana farming. Mm -hmm. And because in clay soils, bananas cannot be well. Mm -hmm. And it cannot grow well because it has what we call water logging inside it. Again, when it, it is dry, it can rise to an extent that it is possible for your banana to, to, to see your bananas yielding because of lack of water mm -hmm. and because of the uh, uh, drought. Mm -hmm. Then we know how do you start growing bananas? How is the growth process? Bananas, first of all, as I've said earlier, you have to have a land. Number two, that land must be suitable for the, for the bananas. Mm -hmm. And from there, you have to have uh, labor. It is not labor intensive, but you have to have labor because at least even if it is not much labor, the labor, has to be, labor, labor has to be there. And, uh, if you are sure that you, are, you have to have labor, the most crucial thing is water. Water. If you have water, you are through. Again, it's on top of that, still, then grow the plant, you have to have uh, manure, at least once a season, two tins, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the stools of the banana. When you say a season, what do you mean? Our season starts in April mm -hmm. up to October. From there, the other one starts in April. No, we have rains from October. October that long rain starts in April to October. Uh, in December, January, we have short rains which goes up to April again. So the, the seasons, if they are regular, they are almost the same twice. So why did you decide to embrace tissue culture as opposed to the traditional way of farming bananas? I used the tissue culture because one thing I was sure that they are free of any diseases or any pests. That's one. Ma market. The buyers normally go for tissue culture generally, especially those who, who buy fruit, uh, bananas for ripening. And this variety in particular is for ripening, it's not for cooking variety. So how is production of tissue culture if you compare it with others? Production for tissue culture 
I think as far as I'm concerned, is the best because of the source of the seedling and again because of the way it's taken care of. The traditional bananas, under the normal circumstances, we, only, we are planting and then after planting, you leave it, you eat for the fruit to come, to come out. When you say tissue culture, what do you mean? A seed that has been processed in a laboratory up to the time when it gets ready for planting. Yeah, it has, it has to undertake that uh, laboratory process. Crops are grown differently. How is banana grown? Lazima uchimbe shimo, kama inaende kukonyesa saivi, lakini ya yoi inatakiwa futi tatu, square, kwa futi mbili, au mbili unusu, depth. Why do you have to do that one? Some, some people propagate that you can dig three by three or even four by three by four downwards. But the more you go down, the fertile soil becomes. Many of us have seen bananas that have already grown, but uh, when you're starting, is it a seedling or you propagate? They are sold as seedlings from, the, from approved nurseries so that you can get the, the kind of material that you desire. So how long does it take before you harvest? In, in a climate like this one, it will take only one year to get ready for harvesting. For example, this ones we planted in uh, October last year, but one, last year but one. And in October last year, they were ready for planting. The ones you can see, these field stems, which, which are cut. And what are the advantages of banana farming? Other than selling, if you, if you look at where we are now, if you feel the climate so, so, so good, it is well controlled, there isn't a lot of sunshine, it provides a shade, and again, it gives a cover to the soil. There are those who process this, the, the, the banana itself into unga. They have even mikate, and I know of guys who still process some uh, pombe from the bananas. So it has got so many things to do, to, depending on different farmers. There are many crops that you could have ventured into, but why did you decide to venture into banana farming? It did not start with bananas. I came to bananas after trying so many uh, crops. To start with, yeah, for, for commercial farming, I've started with coffee. I had a lot of coffee and even had my own milling me, 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 machine. Here at home, I was selling my coffee direct to KPC during those days. But then when things turned down to be as mad as you, can, you cannot tell, yes. I decided to leave coffee. After leaving coffee, I entered into horticultural farming where I try, I started with the fresh beans. I did with the large fresh beans, but the, eventually it was not good. Sometimes you deliver your, your, your product, and then it, the, the, the following day, you have brought them back, they were rejected. When I came to bananas, after planting my banana, first plantation was in the year 2008. This, yeah. was, this is what I was looking at, 2008. After harvesting the first round of the bananas, I to me to myself I say, whoa, this is the water I guess for certainly been missing. Because labor, very little. General husbandry, very little. So and when you when you when when I, when, when you get at what you, when you look at what you are getting from the banana, you say, whoa, wow, because one stool like this one. One year, it is supposed to give you at least three bunches. If you sell that one bunch at 500 shillings, and that one now is uh, average, and all it is on the lower side, depending on the management of the farmer, it can give you 1,500 a year, selling one, one bunch at 500 shillings. Almost 1,500 to 2,000. Wow, that's good money. Dambiri, for someone who wants to venture into banana farming, tell me what is the capital that I can put in so that I can start farming? Capital is very minimal, very minimal. Because what you need, you need 
labor. If you, are, you start with, let's say, 100, uh, 100 uh, pieces, 100, it will require 50, uh, 50 shillings per hole, that's 5,000 shillings to dig holes. Manure, two debits per, 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 per hole, that's about three, no, 10,000 shillings to get enough manure for the seam. And then the other part, Crucial is sourcing of the of the of, of, of the seedlings. Seedlings normally cost between 100 and 150 per seed. So you may not even require 100,000 shillings. This rather than that. Even as you are talking about profits, what are the challenges that you normally go through in this particular farming? There isn't much of such challenges that you can talk of, other than probably sometimes market lowers. And if it lose still, it is it is still sellable. We have never wasted any any if single uh, sing, sing, single piece because of lack of market. No, well, only what happens the uh, the prices are not uh, constant. They go they when when the production is high, the prices go low. When the when, when demand is high, then the the, the prices go up. Yeah, but it has never been below 10 shillings per kilo. And I'm, I'm back like this one, which you are, which you are looking at here. Mm -hmm. this, one, this one will give us at least 40 kgs. 40 kgs. Damberi, I've seen you're such a pioneer in this particular farming. What would you advise a farmer who wants to venture, or someone who wants to venture into banana farming? One, first of all, if you want to venture into banana farming, you have at least to have an expectation of the market. You have to have the required facilities. And more foremost, water. Water is crucial in bananas. Because without water, you, can, you, are, you cannot be in business. Otherwise, still, you have to, 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 to be uh, passionate on the same. Because if you are not passionate, you cannot do anything, not only with the bananas, but if you are passionate, you will get the high most returns. You've practiced this particular farming for such a long time, so you've harvested severally, but tell us about your best harvest. Last year, I harvested about 15 tons one day. 15 tons one day. Damiri, what is the market price for bananas right now? Let's take, for example, this particular one that is right here. I don't know how many kgs is it and how will it go for how much? This one can weigh about uh, 40 kgs. Mm -hmm. And if I sold this at 40, 40 shilling, 14 shillings per kilo, mm -hmm. then you can see how much it in the gotten, gotten us. Mm -hmm. And this is not the, small, the, the biggest. Mm -hmm. We still have some which are bigger than this one. Any achievements or awards that you've received from this type of farming? In a meeting, Banana Growers Association of Kenya meeting, annual general meeting held in Kenya, Nairobi, I was pronounced the best tissue culture banana farmer, mm -hmm. which was very, very, very sweet for me. Congratulations. Mefika hapa na kulingana na vile tunapanda mandizi kulingana na vile vile shimo ambalo tuko karibu kutoka kwake na ndio hili hapo sasa tunachimba shimbo la aina hii na ndio tunasema mchanga ambao uko juu ambao una rotuba tunaiwa cha kando na ni mrefu tunaiweka kando so mchanga ikishatolewa hapa kupanda Sasa ni kupanda, mm -hmm. kupanda, tuna imbolea, tuna mwaga kwa top soil. Mm -hmm. Yo alafu tutarujia kwa shimo, mm -hmm. hamwagi alayo na hile mchanga ambayo tuli chimba ya juu. Linda, mm -hmm. panda sasa umejua. Okay.
Mary, you're the agricultural officer around here. When do you normally visit this particular farm? What, do you, what are the key things that you look at? When we come, mm -hmm. we normally come and check the, whether the management of the plantation, mm -hmm. whether there are pests and disease attacks, mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. Yes, we normally concentrate on normally pests and disease. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the management part of it. Mm -hmm. When you talk about management practices, what do you mean? In order to have a, a good yield, mm -hmm. we normally check whether the farmer is watering the crop, whether the farmer is pruning correctly. Mm -hmm. We have the pruning of the leaves, mm -hmm. thinning of the plantlets, to suckers, mm -hmm. because normally a plant can produce so many suckers. Mm -hmm. So we normally advise farmers to to thin out those unnecessary suckers mm -hmm. and leave only those strong ones. Mary, I see others have as many as five. Uh, how many should be here? At uh, one, one time, mm -hmm. a farmer should leave at least three to four. Or if he has enough manure and water, five maximum. Mary, our farmer here has told us that he's, he has embraced tissue culture farming. What are the advantages of tissue culture farming as opposed to the traditional or the normal type of farming? You know, it is pesty and disease free. You are sure when you are planting your plant that it is free from the, all the pests, from all the diseases. Also, the plants mature. They mature uniformly. Like you can see this. You, if you have a, 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 a business plan, you want to do something in a year to come, and then you establish one acre, you are sure you harvest 75% of your fruit at once, and you get cash. So which are the main diseases that are affecting farmers around here? Normally we don't have a lot of diseases, but the diseases which are troubling farmers are cigatoka, and you can see it, this one. The yellowing. The yellowing mm -hmm. and its patches, brackish patches, mm -hmm. which is normally caused by the, uh, the climatic condition. Mm -hmm. We also have diseases like a disease lot, mm -hmm. where this disease affects normally the, the figures. Mm -hmm. They have brackish shape mm -hmm. at the head, mm -hmm. like cigar. You can hear that cigarette, mm -hmm. a cigarette. Oh. Yes. Th those are the main diseases, the two main diseases. Other diseases which can occur are Panama, mm -hmm. and that one is not in common. Mm -hmm. It is only common with the phthalate, some phthalates, like sweet bananas, and also this, what do you Michel. Mm -hmm. You've talked about diseases, but what are the pests that normally affect farmers, especially around this area? Pests, we have especially two main pests, or three. We have nematodes, we have grapes and the banana weevil. With the nematodes, it is normally in the soil. So we can manage it by planting clean planting materials. Drips, no, we normally advise farmers to put the brood trip, traps. When, when normally you have brood traps, it will attract all the drips. So Mary, with all those diseases, huh, what would you advise a farmer? We normally advise farmers to keep, to have field hygiene. When I say field hygiene, it means you keep your field clean. You prune leaves, like these old leaves, you remove them, and also proper spacing. Field hygiene starts with the proper planting. When you plant your banana, you should have light spacing, so that you can have air movement, Free, air moves freely within the laws. This will remove some problems like diseases, especially all the diseases, even a disease lots. They are normally caused by poor, especially of a cloudy. Yeah. So we have sweet banana plantains and the kawaida ones. What is the difference? We have bananas for cooking. We have bananas for life at the duo. Those three bananas are normally classified in three. For ripe bananas, we have Williams, we have Gladinine, like what our farmers have. We have, uh, we call them dessert. We have bananas for cooking. We have Uganda Green. 
Moralu. We have other varieties like Kikukuyu. Yes, and for dual purposes, we have Kamakeganda. Even Moralu is a dual purpose. Mm -hmm. you can, it can ripen and you can also cook. Yeah. Which is the right spacing for bananas? The spacing depends with the varieties. We have those tall varieties. We have these short varieties like grade 9. Williams are short, high varieties. Even Kampala, they require wider spacing. So with the, these short varieties, farmers plant two by two, two and a half by two and a half meters. And with the, the tall varieties, to three meters, three and a half, up to four by four meters, depending now on how tall and also the size of land. You know, th these days we are limited by the size of land. Bananas are naturally sweet, but what are some of the nutritional values? The uh, one thing we like bananas, the, uh, you can produce them for food. So we have a food security crop with bananas. They are rich in potassium. You know, do you know potassium cells in the regulator of blood? So we minimize the blood pressure. They are rich in energy. When you feel you have no energy, you can take a piece of banana, you get energy. They also help to relax the body. When you take a banana, uh, the digestive system is cleared. They also have vitamins C. They also have phosphorus. They have so many to, <laughs> not to just mention a few. Some people may argue that bananas from Kisi County are sweeter than the ones found in any other region. What would you say about that? If I can say, if there is a sweet banana, it is from Kirinyaka. <laughs> I hope you taste it before you come out of this place. It is very sweet. But the normal sweetness of the banana depends on management. If you put maybe a lot of fertilizer, some farmers add fertilizers, a lot of fertilizers. You know this banana will have a lot of water, especially nitrogen. So that the sweetness will, if, especially when the banana is almost ripe, you don't need it to put the fertilizers. It requires manure. These days we are emphasizing on organic farming. So we are encouraging farmers to feed the soil. And when you feed the soil, truly you get the harvest. So the secret of bananas is in feeding? Yes. Mary, you are an agricultural officer from Kirinyaga County. What are some of the initiatives that you've put in place in order to help farmers, especially farmers who are doing banana farming? We normally offer extension services. We even have programs like ASDSP, which have value chains like bananas. And normally we train farmers. We offer trainings to the farmer groups or from on agronomists, from the time one plant the banana until the harvest, for surface management, everything we offer. And the county, we are willing to help our farmers to produce quality and quantity. Have farmers around here embraced value addition? The farmers have, here have not taken up value addition. Normally, I think it is because we have the market, because we have all the buyers throughout the year. Thank you so much, Mary, for your time. That has been quite insightful. Welcome, Lida. Mm -hmm. And you, you said for Kisi is very sweet. That's what people say out here. Ah, I want you to have <laughs> one from Kerenyaga. Okay. Let us go and search for one. Okay, let's yes. look for one. That one is big.
Huko uweke hapa hili tupime tuone ni kilo gapi. You have ni approximately how many kg? This one. Mm. Ah, this one can go up to that 7 maybe the And the highest the heaviest you've ever gotten here. Even chama farmers get even 70 kg. Oh, 70 is quite but big. But yes, but on average at mm. least you can get 30 to 40 kg. Oh. Ah, that is good. Yeah, that is good. Yes. You can get that as well. Yes, that as well and see the exact kg. Before I take it in my room. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Let us see. Yes, that is that 7 kg. Exactly oh, what I say. That is 7 kg. <laughs> yes. That's quite, yes. That's quite heavy. Yes. Now you can go and take it. Oh, wait, guys. You've seen that. That is approximately 37 kgs. And I'm taking it to Nairobi to test the sweetness from Kirinyaga County. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Kilimo na Biashara. Until next time, my name is Linda Koskei.